Hi Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment while I shuffle uh, a few things here. Everything you need to know is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I'm going to look at the next three months energy going from this reading uh, through the next three months. Um, I'm going to say here too, it's timeless, so know that as well. Whenever you are meant to find this reading, uh, it is meant for you to hear the messages here. Now, um, also, if you want to enter my giveaway, I am giving away a free personal reading each month. Details are below how to enter. If you'd like a personal reading, details are below on how to contact me. All right. With that, let's pull your cards. I'm going to pull the energy here for you, Sagittarius. We're going to get uh, 12 cards, and then we're going to clarify what is needed, and then we'll get some love oracles as well. All right, what's the energy here for Sagittarius, soulmate, and twin flame messages? All right. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. We got the Empress here on the bottom of the deck. So very strongly here, Sagittarius. Um, I'm picking up that there is definitely an opportunity for you and someone. I feel like this is someone from your past. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is someone you were in a, in a commitment or a relationship with. It could be a new soulmate, but somebody maybe that was an acquaintance, right? Take it how it resonates. But I do see somebody here. Somebody, I feel that there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person to connect. I feel like it's pretty soon here with this Ace of Wands. Now, I also get the energy because this is somebody you know somehow in your past. I get an energy of you being very practical about this. But with this Empress energy, there's definitely a um, new beginning here. You're manifesting something. There is potential for happiness here with someone. I do get that this is someone either, either you've connected with this person before in some sort of way. And, um, or this could be some, so, someone who is an acquaintance and you know this person through some sort of activity, project, could be a work situation, some, some place that you frequent that you may connect with this person often. Let's see what else shows up for you, Sagittarius. We'll know more as we go who this really is. But there is, there is somebody here who has that desire uh, who's interested in you. So there may be a very strong attraction here between you and this person. So we got here the Six of Swords. As I said, it could be someplace you frequent. I'm going to say it could even be someplace you travel with that Six of Swords. You got the Seven of Cups. You have the Two of Swords. And oh, look at that. You got two aces here, the ace of swords, and you have the six of pentacles. All right. You know, this could be somebody that you, you moved on from in the past, I'm going to say. And so, you know, I feel like this is someone you've connected with. And I don't feel necessarily this is someone that you were in actually a relationship with is the energy that I get here. But you got the Seven of Cups with the Judgment. So I feel that you may have some mixed emotions about this person or maybe you have other options. We're going to see here. You have, as I said, I feel like you're taking a practical uh, approach um, and you got the two of swords. So I feel like, you know, how you're feeling about the situation, you're going to have some mixed emotions and maybe having a hard time deciding if, you know, you want this opportunity with this person. Now you do have the ace of swords here. So I do feel like there's some sort of communication, somebody reaching out to you. Yeah, look at that. You got the six of pentacles and you have the knight of cups. 
So there is somebody that is interested in you and I feel like you're going to get some sort of communication from this person. And I do get either this person lives at a distance uh, or this is someone I feel within your community that you may um, frequent or somebody from your past that you know. And it could be an ex and it could be somebody that was an acquaintance or a friend is the energy that I'm getting. Now, we have basically all the energies on the board so far, you know, fire, earth, air, water, uh, as far as signs go. So any strong signs that come out, I will call. So let's pull another four cards, see what the energy is here for you, Sagittarius. All right, look at that. Yeah, four cups. You're hesitant. You're unsure about this person for some reason. You got the wheel. You have the magician. Oh boy. <laughs> and you have the lovers. Oh my gosh, Sagittarius. This is, I feel like this is a repeating energy that comes up in your readings. You're going to, you have a choice here. And I'm going to say not all of you. Some of you, I feel like you could have more than one option here. One, somebody here from your past that you know. And, you know, maybe there is somebody else around you. But I'm real, I'm more so picking up the energy here as someone that you already know. And I see you here, look at that, you're up on your head about this. So I feel like what's going to happen, right, there's an ace of swords, an ace of wands here. I feel there's an opportunity with somebody that you know, and I feel like this is why you you just don't know what to do, okay? So this opportunity is going to present itself. You have the ace of swords here, and some of you, like I said, there is also somebody else I feel here that uh, potentially you could have to make a decision between two people because look, you have the uh, lover's card, a choice between two. Now, some of you, it just may be you're trying to gain clarity about this, this particular person, one person here, and you're going to have to decide. I feel like some of you may be deciding whether this person, and I'm just going to talk about one person here, you may be deciding with this Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, is this just somebody that I have a lot of chemistry with, a lot of passion with, or is this somebody really that I could have something more with, right? Something strong, uh, you know, a strong foundation, trust, something that goes for the long term. Because I feel like um, you're hesitant here. You got the Four of Cups. Now, if this person lives at a distance, that hesitation could be around the distance here with the Six of Swords. But you got the Four of Cups, you have the Magician, and you have the Lovers. And whether you have one option or you have two options, I would say it with the Four of Cups. There's no harm in exploring, right, where, you know, where this option could lead. So if you're single, right, and you're not in a commitment or relationship, I would say, you know, there's no harm in seeing what this person has to offer. But I see hesitation here. So let's clarify some of these cards. I feel Sagittarius. There's an energy here that you're, you've been manifesting this for a while. You've been manifesting some sort of decision. And I'm going to say, <coughs> I feel like it's kind of like a one way or the other type of energy where you have to go one way or the other. And with this high priestess here, I feel that, um, I feel like you're not listening to your intuition. Really was I get here. I feel that you, you, you're thinking a lot about it. You may be going round and round in your head, but I definitely get an energy of, of some sort of decision around either one person or two people here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's about your happiness, your peace, your joy, your happiness, who you see yourself with. So I'm going to clarify. Um, let's clarify that Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay. 
So there's someone around you. They could be actually a little bit younger than you. They don't have to be. But I see this is someone, um, it could be somebody who's already flirting with you or somebody here who's going to reach out. You got the nine of pentacles, the six of wands, and you have the five of swords. So this is someone I feel like you're very attracted to. And I do feel like this is somebody that you know. Um, with that five of swords energy, um, I just get the energy again, like I, I feel like you don't know if this is someone you see for the long term, right? You may be very attracted to this person. You may, um, you know, you know, you may see this person as somebody, right? Maybe they do well for themselves. They take care of themselves. Maybe they're very attractive, but I just get an energy you're not too sure if this is something that could go long term. So there's an opportunity here with someone. And, and like I said, it could be a friend. Look at that. You got the Ace of Cups here as well. And you also have here, I'm trying to hold these. You got the Two of Cups as well. So there's an opportunity, a new start for a new romance. Um... And it, there is potential. There is potential here for a partnership with this person. But I get this energy. You're hesitant because I feel like you're not too sure if this is something that could go, you know, work out for the long term or somebody that you see yourself. Let's clear. Actually, I'm going to clarify the seven of cups. Why is the seven of cups here, please? So definitely going to get some sort of message um, from this person or communication. I would say for some of you, you could work with this person and that could be a factor. Oh, interesting, because the next card I'm going to clarify is the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords came up. You also have here the Nine of Wands. So you got the Seven of Cups. You have mixed emotions about this situation. You got the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and you have the Ace of Swords. And really what I get here, I feel like there's something that you're struggling with. Either you don't see this person as someone maybe that you could be with for the long term, or this is someone, an ex, somebody that, you know, you may feel like you have to really truly be honest with yourself. And is this someone that I see where things could work? And I feel like you're really trying to find the clarity here. Let's see why the Ace of Swords is here. Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Because I do see a decision here, Sagittarius. Why is the Ace of Swords here? We got the Wheel again. <laughs> the Six of Cups. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, and the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. I, I get Sagittarius, I sense here, for some of you, there's, there's, there's two options, I'm going to say, okay? And I feel like there is somebody that you have made some memories with and somebody that I feel somebody, I, I know I'm pausing here because it's, it's very conflicted here. It's complicated <laughs> is what I get here, Sagittarius. I almost feel like you're struggling to walk away from something, but there's a new start that's about to happen for you with this wheel and the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Some of you, it could be a new soulmate. Some of you, I'm going to say it could be this ex. And that's the decision here. There's a decision here where I feel like you're indecisive. Now, maybe you're thinking about a past situation and you're struggling to walk away from it. And that could be what I see here. You know, you having mixed emotions and there's a new soulmate coming in here for you. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. So I do, again, I see a fresh start. I see a new beginning. I see potentially here a loving relationship for you. When we get to the lovers card here, when I clarify the lovers, I feel like we're going to know, right, um, what the decision here that you're trying to make is. So I see, I see a lot of communication coming towards you, um, but I also see you trying to, 
to gain some clarity around your situation. I'm going to clarify that Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here, please? Why is the Four of Cups here, please? Your situation feels complicated, Sagittarius. Now, either it's you're overthinking this, you know, and I'm picking up that energy, or it's because there's more than one person here. And I feel like it could be either way. <laughs> All right. Bottom of the deck here, you have the three of swords. All right. I feel like th there's an opportunity here with someone who may have broke your heart in the past. Uh, somebody who maybe even you felt some sort of betrayal. You have the knight of wands. You have the five of cups and you have the two of wands. So I do feel like Sagittarius, there's somebody uh, who potentially is returning here. And this is somebody who I feel has uh, been in and out of your life and they haven't always been supportive and that and this is where you find yourself you have the two of swords now you have the two of wands and you have the lovers there's definitely a decision of the heart here sag and but i see with this wheel something's changing and the magician you're manifesting some sort of change here i'm going to go to this lovers and then we'll see if we need to clarify the magician or the wheel after that. Why is the lover's card here, please? Why is lover's here? We have the four of pentacles, the queen of swords, judgment. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Sag. Let's pull one more. Three of swords and seven of wands. All right. <laughs> Oh, Sagittarius, what's going on here? <clears throat> Let me just take a sip of my tea and my allergies are bugging and my throat is dry. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords, we have Judgment, and you have the Three of Swords. I feel, Sag, there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person to have this person I feel that that hurt you from the past there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person to have a conversation is what I get here and I feel like you're open to communicating with this person but at the same token I feel like you're being very practical and I don't feel like you're giving a lot to this person is the energy that I get I see your energy as being um, like very balanced very very disciplined um, so I see also very guarded here with the seven of wands. Now there's something here that's manifesting because you do have the wheel of fortune and you have the magician here, you know, and it may be, you're going to have to make a decision. Like I said, there could be two energies here, right? A new soulmate coming in for you, or maybe you've already got a new person in your life, but I have to see a past situation that is um returning so let's see what you're manifesting here okay oh my gosh oh my gosh Sagittarius you got the hermit on the bottom of the deck strong Virgo energy we also have strong Scorpio here you have the ace of wands the death rebirth card and you have the knight of pentacles you're you know you if you're thinking about a past person and some of you may say, oh, I don't want to be with the past person. But if you're thinking about that person, you're going to manifest that person, whether you want them in your life or not. And I get here, you're manifesting this person from the past. Now, maybe here, right, there's, it's because there's an opportunity for you and this person to heal things, to, um, to have one more chance here to get things right. I see a message from this person. I see a message here, and there's that Ace of Wands again, and it's down here, right? But I see also a fresh start. Now, it can be a fresh start with this person, I'm going to say, where I feel you and this person could work things out. But some of you, I feel like this is a new soulmate. I'm just going to ask the question, is there, a, is there a new soulmate coming in for Sagittarius? What can you tell Sagittarius about a new soulmate? And then I'm going to pull some Lev Oracles. Right, we got the Ten of Wands. We got the Page of Swords. 
and we have the Queen of Wands. So I'm going to say here, oh, and we have the Devil card here, right? I feel like there's someone here that you haven't completely let go of. I'm going to say if you are dating or you're online or whatever, I do feel like there is a new soulmate around you or somebody that you're you're attracted to, whether you've met this person or not. So yes, some of you are going to have that decision to make and some of you, it just could be around one person here, okay, if you're not out there dating or doing anything, but you know, thinking about this person, but I mean, obviously you're doing other things in your life. Let's get some love oracles here for your Sag. We will take it to the extended. We're going to see how the next three months plays out. We're going to see if you uh, make a decision about this person, right? Or what they do, what they feel, their intentions, all of that. Okay. So you got the golden mirror, all right? So this is about a one-sided relationship. So this may be somebody who you felt, right, they were all about themselves or, you know, you know, they really, they didn't give a whole lot. They gave to themselves, but not to you. Or there could, you know, this can also be a narcissistic, you know, connection or codependency, that type of energy. You have cassette here. All right. So this is like repeating, um, you know, repeating over and over in your head, you know, about how things have happened. So it's overthinking. OK. And it can be also outdated thinking. So there needs to be a new perspective, a new change in your thinking here. Right. To make a decision. And then, oh, yeah, look at that. Healthy choices. So this is about you making healthy choices. Right. And that's going to be the decision here. And then you also have here the dragonfly. Okay, so this is the energy here. Things can change. Things can transform. Um, you know, the healthy choices here with the dragonfly is telling me that there's an opportunity to heal, to heal things between you and this person, whether you want to be with this person or not. And it also can help with your own healing too. So Sag, I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.